Hello everyone, in this video we're going to extend our diagram a little bit with progress and trigger coming into play. Basically, for each request, our Spring Boot service will connect to progress by using Spring Data GPA to port 5432 and send trace data to trigger port 14250 through OpenTelemetry Java agent. Okay, let's start updating our service with progress. In here, we need to add some dependency and I already added it first. So, so diff. We need Spring Data GPAs and I added it at the dependency in implementations and also a progress runtime only. By the way, I also update our Spring Boot to the latest version 3.2.0. Okay, the next thing we're gonna take a look is ordered. So, Instead of record, now it's a class because we want to make it as an entity. And in term of domain property side, an entity must be a class, right? A record represents for value objects, also in term of domain property side. So basically, I change from record to class. And then we also keep ID, customer IDs, order date, total amount. And to make it a ZBA entity, uh, we have annotation entities, the table, so the name of the table in the database. We also use some lump of you know, getter and no woman constructor for zero line, this zero line using Jackson. Then we are absolutely need a repository. So basically, just simple repository, extend GPA repository. Then let's auto wire it to the order controller. So in order controller, uh, instead of return uh, like a card, now we auto wire our order repository using you know require argument constructor number of here, and then. We will call the function fiber ID from this order repository. Uh, we take the ID from the path variable. And if we cannot file it in the database, so we're going to through an illegal argument exception invalid ID. So it's simple, right? Then we finish the coding part. Let's go ahead and move on to the Docker Compose file. So in the Docker Compose file, we add progress. And we have some environment for that. So the progress DB will be open telemetries. And the user for this instant progress username, password, password. And we also export the port of progress to localhost as well. So localhost 5432. Then let uh, let's try to run it. So docker compose of progress minus d. So now I only start progress from our docker compose. And let's try to connect to the progress that we just start from db builder. So remember that we used the Username, password as username and password, right? And look hot, okay. So we are going to create a connection, progress, next, look hot, the database, open telemetry, right? Database, open telemetry. Look hot, port 5432, username, username, and password. Password. Okay, let's test the connection, okay. Finished. Then we have a connection to our database in Docker files. So currently we only have one schema public without any table. Okay, let's move on and set a data source for our application to this progress. We are going to rename our application doc property to application doc yaml for look nicer. So in here I declared the data source properties. So uh, we talking to localhost 5432 the database open telemetry username is username password is password. 
We also enable SQL init mode to always to trigger the service running schema.sql and data.sql sequentially. So basically, after we have the connection with progress, we are going to run schema.sql, create the order schema, and in order schema, we create orders tabled, and after that, we'll run data.sql to insert some data into our order table in order schema. So in here, I insert the data, the order ID1 and ID2. We also added some hybrid properties. Here's like so SQL and format the SQL for in local and in dev environment, for example. Uh, we need that to easy debug and see what's going wrong. Also, uh, we s declare the DDL auto validate to validate our database schema with our entity class, custom ID or data to the amount, so everything is on set. So the validation is successful. The last next properties that we declare is, is ordered to tell that all the tables being used in this service will be under order schema. So this tables order will be under order schema. So we don't have to explicitly declare the schema ordered here. Okay. Now let's run our services. Uh, we need to uh, edit configuration a little bit. Triggered this one. Uh, so in local, maybe we don't need to run it with Java agents auto instrumentation. Just make a symbol like, and let's see. So we expect that it will connect to database, create our schema, create our table, and put two data in the table, on the tables. Okay, let's run that. Let's see, refresh it. Okay, we have all the schema. Okay, we have order table, and let's see. Okay, we have two records in order table. That's good. Okay, let's back to application. Let's go ahead and run our service in Docker's. Okay. Then what we are going to do, we have to change the connection here because now we are going to run it our docker file so our service going to talk to progress using progress here so we need to change from localhost to progress now we are going to run our other service in docker network and talk to the progress stop our service here and we have to remove the old images of our servant because if we run docker up docker compose up it's going to be reuse the old images of the other service so we have to remove that let's say docker ps okay we have to stop at docker down docker compose down then oh uh, docker images and we are going to remove this one on the servit on the servit docker remove images okay now let's try to run our server here we need to clean view again to create a new chart for our docker image right our docker file so i'm going to run clean view minus x test because I don't want to run test in this uh, scenario okay let's make a symbol just for a jar okay so everything successful then put docker compose of minus these so as you can see here is going to view a new images of our server 
step one, step two, three. Okay, everything is on set. Let's try to Docker PS. Okay, let's try to send some request. Local hot order number one. Okay, so we have order number one and order number two in database. So let's see order number three. Okay, we are going to have the arrow. Because we are going to throw an exception, and currently we don't have any exception handler, so that's why it's return an error page, while label error page. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and move to the second part. Now we need to send our trace data to Yigurt. So basically, here I have the example. Open Telegram G Java sample Jigert here. So basically, we need to run Jigert. Let back to. Then we need to add Jigert to our Docker Compose as well. Progress. So we have Jigert all in one here. And we also need to declare. Container name, name is Jigert, image is Jigert all in one, and environments we have collector, OTOP enabled. Yeah, and we have two ports the first port for UI, and the second port here is for sending metric trace from Open Telemetry Java agent to Jigert. So, how to send trace from our service to Jigert here? So we have to change the old tail trace exporter here to Jigert. Jigert. Uh, let's take a documentation here. So this is a Jigert exporter. So in order to send our trace data to Jigert, we have to use Jigert exporter, and we have to specify the Jigert endpoint. So by default, the endpoint is localhot 14250. But in Docker Network, we don't have that uh, localhot. So let's see, we're going to copy this Jigger endpoint, Jiggered. And okay, copy the localhot, this one, the default one. But now Jigger in the Docker network. So basically we just need this one. Okay, so this is the port that we talk to Jigger. And in Jigger we also have that port. So that's good. Let's uh, start everything from the beginning. Docker compose down Docker compose up minus D. So now we have Progress, Jiggers, and the last one is our other servlet. Let's try to send some request to our servlet and see Jiggers here. So send two, I've sent one, and local host 16686 UI Jiggers, and we have our servlet app. If you remember uh, the app, is taken from our jar. So, oh, be radios. So, our jar file name app of jar. So, the jar file we use in Docker file also app of jar. That means the apps come from here and we find traces. So see from the controller code to controller file by ID, repository file by ID, acquiring and releasing connections, repairing the ZBDC statement sections, yeah. Nothing. and executing the ZBDC statement here. 
then commit the change action. Okay, take a look at another. So this is also some. Yeah, you can see this is from the beginning when we start our application with the empty database. So we are going to uh, re-ace the key mark, re the tables and insert two ordered into the audit tables. Okay. Let's see. So re table table create a schema if not is this ordered okay let's do the last thing by rename our service from app to order service so back to our environment here we need to declare the hotel service name and in here we are going to declare it at order service Okay. Okay. Docker compose down. Again. Docker compose up. Okay. Going to refresh. Then we are going to have order serve it. So basically, some select statement and some. And uh, let's try to send order number two. Then file chase again. let's see ordered tools so I think that's it for this video thank you for taking your time watching this video hope you learned something new here see you in the next video and happy coding